Did you say vampire? Holy sh! There's Emmett Colon. You better hold tight, Spider Monkey, because this Twilight reunion will have you wishing you were in Forks. Kellen Lutz and Ashley Green gave Twi Hearts an epic surprise, teaming up with creator Matt Cutchell on a short video linked to his Emo's Not Dead project, where the two actors reprise their iconic roles as Emmett and Alice Cullen. And trust us, you'll be feeling super nostalgic when you see what happened. Stop! Emmett, leave him alone! Alice, hi! Hi! I love you! Oh, I love you too. We're gonna be great friends. He's not a vampire! He's just an emo kid. I'll be back for you. And I'll be waiting. <sighs> they're fast. They're just, they're fast, just like in the movies. Kellen also posted a photo where he holds Ashley while they are in costume writing, bringing back some sparkling Twilight love with the best Ashley Green for our buddy Matt Cutshall. Emo's not dead, so much fun. Nikki Reed, who played Emmett's on-screen lover, Rosalie Hale, was into it and reacted in the comments, writing, Emmett, you lucky dog. I guess I'm down to share. Love you too. Ashley also shared multiple photos of her in costume on Instagram, writing, quote, Blast from the past with Kellen Lutz. It made my heart jump being reunited with this one and having some fun with Ariel and Matt Cutshall. Hashtag emo's not dead. Hashtag Alice Cullen. Hashtag Emmett Cullen. Access Hollywood spoke with Ashley in August 2021, when she revealed she'd love to return as Alice if the possibility arises. And she fangirled over Twilight stan Olivia Rodrigo. Everyone has been watching it. I feel like it's, it's had this whole resurgence recently. Even Olivia Rodrigo posted on Instagram about it. Uh, She's a big uh, fan. Yeah, of course, I like freaked out about that. I love her like everyone else. Um, and my sister-in-law sent me the t-shirt she had. I was like, oh, that's so cool. Um, but uh, but yeah, it's um, it's very exciting for Twilight Defy. I feel like it's a long time coming. And I think, you know, I don't know a person that doesn't love Netflix. And so to find a home there for both our fellow Aftermath and Twilight is very, I'm all over Netflix. And it's a very exciting thing for me. I was also going to ask, looking back, it's hard to believe that November, it's going to mark 10 years since Breaking Dawn came out. Um, what were some of your favorite memories of working on those films? Oh my gosh, it's so crazy. Every time I mention how long ago it is, people are like, what? It's like, crazy. Yeah, it feels like it was just it. yesterday. <laughs> I know. And you know, that's the other cool thing is that seeing us now finally get to Netflix and seeing that it's still so popular and that it still resonates with so many people is very, very cool. Um, but uh, favorite memories from filming, I think, you know, the the first doing Twilight was, I think, will always hold a special place in my heart because it was, I was so new. It was my first real job on on a set for that amount of time and so uh it was a heck of a job to come into um as, as kind of your first real film um and and that's where we kind of created these bonds and then i think breaking dawn for me was very very fun i think for me anything that is physically active is very fun for me i grew up doing martial arts and so being able to flex a little bit of that was very fun for me and uh and working with i think the caliber of actors that we were able to get um for for Breaking Dawn specifically was um, was very exciting for me. And who can ever forget that plot twist that your character predicted? Everyone was freaking out. I'll never forget that. That was a crazy time. That was, <laughs> speaking of premieres, that was another very cool thing is being in a theater, right, at our premiere with so many fans and getting to firsthand hear their reactions when that happened is, is something incredible, something I'll never forget. Because it's, you know, we're like, oh yes, okay, we nailed it. Because you just don't know you don't know how it's going to be received, right? Yeah, I remember when I was there, I watched it like the the, the day that it came out and people were like screaming, like crying, oh. like this didn't happen in the books. And I was like, okay, well, it's Alice. Like maybe it's not real. I don't know. You were so, on to it. I, well, I kind of had a spoiler from one of my friends. So I was like, you know, I had an idea that something was going to go down. I didn't know exactly what, but I was like, please let this not be true. So I'll, I'll never forget that. Um, last Twilight question, I promise. Um, I actually spoke with your um, old co-star, Boo Boo Stewart, recently. He said he'd be down to return because there's a new um, book that came out, Midnight Sun. Would you ever be down to return if they, if they approached you about something in the future? I mean, absolutely. I think for me, you know, it's no secret that Alice holds a special place in my heart and I completely understand how other people relate to her so heavily because I felt the same exact way. And so it's one of my most cherished memories is playing that character. I think, you know, I got to go to set every day and just 
be this kind of positive ball of, of energy and, and sass and and uh it was, it was very fun and i would 100 percent do it again i don't know you know vampires aren't supposed to age is always a thing in the back of my head so i'm like how much money do they want to spend <laughs> making us younger again but um but yeah i think that would be incredible